you got into the United States, you got the visa, you studied, maybe did some work here and there, and then what's next? So I know what options do these people have a brief overview of what, what these people can do if we're on student visas? Um, basically, you can go from student visa anywhere else you want to go. Yeah. It can be work visa, H-1B specifically. And uh, we did um, a lot of videos on H-1B just in February. So please uh, check them out. Yeah, we really break down all day, like H-4s, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, work authorization um, and all these uh, re related things, you know, H-1B registration, uh, lottery, and... Um, and a this, specific video on the transition from an F1 to H1B. So check that out the F1 to H1B visa uh, video that we have. Yeah, we'll put the link in the description. So uh, you can check it out there. Uh, again, um, if you find someone fell in love, you know, you're getting married, you jump from student visa to adjustment of status application that puts you on path to getting your green card in the United States, right? Yeah. Uh, potentially, you can get an O1 visa for uh, people with um, outstanding um, achievements, right? Um, uh, you can, if you wanna travel in the United States, uh, potentially you can apply for, for B2 and uh, get some additional time to travel. But uh, F1 by itself has a 60 days grace period after your program end date, specifically for these purposes. If you don't wanna study, but you, you wanna see the United States, you wanna travel, you wanna explore the country, you know? Yeah, and it uh, might be very helpful. Um, also, you can continue your study further. You can um, start with bachelor's degree, go for master's, go for PhD, and so on. And again, um, I remember they were saying something that, that they will limit this opportunity of you studying here forever because some people come here and they constantly go into school, you know, uh, just to stay in the United States. Like apparently this is like uh, student visa abuse. But um, I'm not aware that any any rules were enacted in this. No, regard. I mean sometimes right, they may they may go to the embassy to renew their visa. The officer gets skeptical and they deny it or something like that. But overall, people do where they come in for a language course, then they get their bachelor's degree, so one year there, four years there, and then they get their PhD, another couple of years, then their master's degree, and then they go for their second master's. Um, they do it. I mean, the problem is it costs a lot of money. Um, so if you're if you're wealthy enough, but all of a sudden you're here for ten. 15 years, maybe just studying and doing stuff like that. And then between each level, there's OPT. So once you graduate from bachelor's degree, you get one to three years of OPT. Then you get PhD, maybe you get some more OPT time potentially. Uh, so uh, there's ways to kick in that road. It's going to be expensive. You're not going to go to school forever. Uh, some people have more patience to that. We got our, you know, graduate degrees required more schooling. And after school is over, we were just kind of over it. I wouldn't want to go to school ever again. But, um, you know, life is school. You're always doing it. But that formalized method you get tired of. But Hey, if you're if, if it's something whether you're you're building your career up or you just want to change a pace we have people who um, have a career back to home country but we just want to change it up and do something completely different why not give it a shot and come study the united states it's another culture the people here and a lot of opportunities that exist so we'll have a, a right. this is one, one of the things that i love united states for is that here you can start from zero at any yeah. age you know you can become anyone you want yeah, and it's still there. I, I see people when I post this stuff on TikTok, for example, oh, America's done this and that, but we have so many clients who come every day from all backgrounds, come here and really take their lives to the next level. So that opportunity is still here and it's still live. And it's not for you and I as well. I mean, you're an immigrant, my family is immigrants and we're, we're making it happen. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful country still to, and a lot of opportunity for everyone across the world to really make it as long as you don't put your, you know, put your mind to it, your focus and your attention. Is, is so many options and the student visa is one of the best leaders um, that, that gets you to where you want to go. We help a lot of people in that kind of stuff. So if anyone's interested in having a consultation about this, please email us at info at jqklaw.com. We can schedule a time. Um, the email is info at jqklaw.com. We'll check out our reply. Uh, briefly describe what you're thinking about in the email so you know what kind of case you're going for. Uh, but uh, I hope this info helped. Anya, do you have anything to add? No, not at this time. Perfect. So if you if you watch this, please like and subscribe and uh, so you get more updates uh, and you can always subscribe to our newsletter. Um, just send an email and we'll add you there to get updates on all sorts of stuff that we send out every month about the U.S. immigration system. So I'm glad you all came in. Thank you so much. And thank you, Anya, for, for going through this with us.
Thank you, John. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching this educational program. To get the latest videos, click the subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Also, help us help the immigrant community by liking this video and sharing it with your family and friends. You can also find us on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter, where you find the latest updates on immigration news, policy changes, and tips. Be safe and God bless. See you soon.